PropStream, the nation's largest provider of real estate data, just recently stated that they're going to stop providing MLS sold comp data. Well, I got a chance to do a lot more research on this topic and really kind of flesh it out and see what's really happening here. So that's what I want to talk about in today's video. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right on into it. Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a so to begin with, when PropStream first made this announcement, people went bonkers people all over the internet was like oh my god, god. prop stream is over with so on and so forth people were very upset with the news with recent changes to mls regulations we can no longer supply data related to mls failed listings and mls sell prices right but upon further research it looks as though this may be a whole lot of controversy for something that's not really that big first off this change really only affects those 12 non-disclosure states in america i'll probably pop them up on the screen these are the only states that are actually going to be affected by prop streams new changes first off so it's not a global thing across the board and speaking of those 12 non-disclosure states all companies, all data providers are already prohibited from giving this MLS sold comp data, basically. PropStream was basically actually still giving you like the actual sales price in the states that they're not supposed to do that, basically. So what it really boils down to is from what I can see, from what I'm surmising, I'm going to I'm going to show you what I've looked at to, to actually prove this. But from what I can see, it seems as though, um, you know, PropStream is actually just being very transparent with the fact that they don't actually have the ability to give you that um, actual sales price in these non-disclosure states. Other companies are just telling you that this is the actual sales price. Come on, don't bullshit me. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. 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 And it's not. It's just an estimate. That's basically what it's boiling down to, guys. So here's a video by Max Maxmail that I want to show you that actually shows that, you know, between, let's say, a batch and a prop stream, basically the data is the same, but batch is saying that this is the actual sale price, whereas prop stream is actually telling you that this is just an estimated price. Batch says that this is... Uh, MLS data for 179 and you can see that over here if you look at 2538 Southland you go across it says 179 100 right so now I'm going to switch over to this same property on PropStream it has the pictures right and it's saying that the last prior sale price is 179 but the big difference between what they're saying and what Batch is saying, PropStream and Batch, I'm just giving you an exact replica of the same property. It's saying 179, 100. They have the same exact numbers. Now, PropStream just said they no longer could give you the sold data, so this is what they call an estimate. Let's go to 2623 Lenway here, which it says is a two bedroom, one bath, and it sold for 112.5. All right, so we're gonna go up to the PropStream that says they do not have any sold data, and it's the same thing. Mortgage amount, last prior sales price, it tells you everything, what's about it. So the difference is, it's an estimate. It's an estimated sold price, because it is completely illegal to show the sold data in disclosure states all right so as you see like max popped up two separate properties and between batch and prop stream the numbers were completely the same so in all reality you know nothing's really changing with prop stream honestly it's basically just the same exact stuff that's been going on in all of these non-disclosure states you haven't been able to actually get the actual sales price you're supposed to just get the estimated price like you would on like a realtor or Zillow or something like that. They're not supposed to disclose this. It's illegal for them to give this information. So anybody that's telling you that they are giving you the sale, the actual sale price in a non-disclosure state, they're probably not telling you the full, full truth. What? 
but you can't do this to me. Also, another thing that I noticed that inside of PropStream, it's no longer going to give you that option to select between um, like the MLS sold comps and the public record sold comps. It's just all going to be inside of one section. However, in those non-disclosure states, it's just going to have um, the fact that it's an estimated amount um, right there on the sales price. So I'll actually show you that now. All right. So as you all can see, this is a property out here in uh, Chicago. And it actually has like the actual uh, sales price, right? Boom. But if you go to a property out in Texas, then you'll see, because Texas is a non-disclosure state, when you see the sales price, it's just going to show you that the sales price is estimated right here. It's not going to actually tell you the exact price. So long story short, guys, to be honest with you, I think all of this, you know, prop stream controversy lately is just a big nothing burger, to be 100% honest. I think it's it really doesn't matter! Realistically, this is not really affecting anything. In non-disclosure states, you've always had to do a little bit more work to actually figure out what those actual sales prices are. Another thing is that you can simply, you know, either become an agent yourself or network with other realtors in your area who can just give you this information. You don't ever have to think that hard. And you can also still get your own data as well. You can use those estimated numbers. It's not like it's going to be crazy, crazy off more often than not. It's pretty spot on. Public records data sometimes takes longer to actually land inside of PropStream because the counties may take a little bit longer to actually aggregate that data. However, that public records data is going to be significantly more accurate than the MLS data. I mean, due to human error, agents very, very often input the information completely wrong. A $100,000 property can look like it was sold on the MLS for a million because an agent put an extra zero in there. So the public records data, that's going to be the exact numbers that the property's actually sold for. So realistically, for some of you all out there, just having access to that public records data is actually probably going to be way more valuable to you than using the often inaccurate MLS data, to be 100% honest. So once again, like I said, this is basically a nothing burger, like between agents, between you becoming an agent, and then between, you know, you using that public records data, you're going to be more than five. You can do it. And yeah, it may take a little bit longer. So be it. It's not a big deal in all reality. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It takes a couple weeks for the information to upload. It's that's not that big of a deal. You're usually looking at comps over the course of six months. Don't be fear mongered into buying a whole bunch of other services or thinking, oh my God, all hell is breaking loose. The sky is falling. <laughs> Got he. <laughs> Got he. <laughs> and all of that stuff, everything is perfectly fine, guys. So if y'all want to watch a video where I'm showing you how I pull the 10 best lists that I like to pull from PropStream, check out this video right here, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Till next time.